All right, I'm back in the hallway here because it's uh, broad daylight and I needed some dark area in the house to do this demonstration. But I've got a jewel thief here hooked up to the Dr. Stifler Towers. And uh, this won't make any sense to anybody that wasn't working on Dr. Stifler's SEC project. But I'll try to explain what's going on here. Um, I don't know exactly why this is working, and Dr. Stifler, if you watch the video, maybe you can uh, email me and explain what happened and why it happened, but all three of the coils that would be on a sec are wound up on that toroid, L1, 2, and 3, and um, somehow I got some sort of a resonance going on here with this uh, Jewel Thief circuit, and I'm bouncing it out through these towers, and I'm sending it down there on one wire. Now, this is uh, similar to one of the experiments I ran earlier with the one wire, but uh, not the same, and I don't really know what I'm doing, and so I don't have the values correct. But I'm running the circuit on an NPN 3906 instead of a PNP, I'm basically running it backwards. This little light bulb here is like a ballast resistor to keep from uh, driving that too hard. It lets me know how many amps are being drawn through this because it lights up. It's a 2 volt, uh, 2 ohm uh, Christmas tree light bulb. It's not a neon, it's a Christmas tree light bulb. These are my little testers here. This is an LED on an AV plug and this is a neon on an AV plug. Um, basically a Jewel Thief uh, setup with an extra winding on the toroid. Um, it's 10, 10, and 87 on the high voltage winding. I'm coming back into the transistor right out into this tower and then going out on the other end of that coil across to the other tower. And the other tower is connected to a chunk of aluminum to act like a ground plane. Um, I think Dr. Stiffer calls them parasitic plates too, so I don't know exactly what to call that. But this is my board that has uh, 27 LEDs on it. and. Uh, I'm going to light that up with this 9 volt battery. So let me go ahead and light this up. And I'm just going to connect the battery here. And there's the lights on down there. And um, like I say, they're on. They're not on super bright, but they're on. And uh, let me disconnect this and turn them on and off. You can see, how, see the brightness on them. That's off. There's on, off, on, off. And like I say, this is broad daylight, and this is the only place in the house I could get it dark enough to show this. But what uh, I'm interested in, and here again, Dr. Stifler, maybe you can help me out on this, is the energy cohesion part of this. And see that little LED on right there? This is being illuminated all around this. And if I touch the battery here, it goes on really bright. Same thing with this uh, cinder tower here. Touch it and it goes on very bright. Come over here on this side and touch the tower with it. Same thing, goes on very bright. And this is one wire power transmission. This is going out through this one wire right here. And it's not got a return path except it's probably through the air. And I touch the ground plane, same thing, very bright LED. In fact, it, it brightens up those LEDs when I touch this, too. So I add my capacitance to a circuit. But the, the other thing was the, um, the neon part of this. And this shows the high voltage here. Let's see if I can get this to go. Okay, there's high voltage on this side of it. That's the cinder tower. I've got high voltage down here on the battery. You see it's, it goes on, not even when I'm touching it. I touch it, it goes on very bright. And then over here at the receiver tower, same thing. I get a very bright uh, neon on the uh, receiver tower and down at the ground plane also. It might be a ground plane or a parasitic plate. I don't know what you want to call this, but without that, this doesn't work. And anyway, that's my demonstration for today. And this, uh, like I say, is a standard jewel thief, and what's very different about this, there's no capacitor in it, except perhaps the capacitance in that 
prototype board. And Dr. Stifler, you're explaining to me that these prototype boards have capacitance in them. Also, I suppose these coils would uh, be the capacitor part of the tank circuit. But um, anyway, I was um, fascinated to see this and I wanted to share it with people. This is a Jewel FIFA circuit um, acting like a SEC circuit. Thanks for watching.